Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it's low budget lean muscle. Just want to fill you guys in on my shoulder workout. Came back from the gym about two hours ago. Um, I did shoulders today. Uh, my technique is before I do any workout on any body part, I always watch a motivational video before, like um, always. It's either my favorite bodybuilder or, you know, anything that motivates me. You know, usually it's my favorite bodybuilder or somebody doing a shoulder workout, an intense shoulder workout. I watch the videos and I, I get pumped up before I go to the gym. I do that every time because it's very important to stimulate your mind and motivate yourself before you go to the gym so you don't bullshit and, you know, st you know, stray off the path and end up doing other things that you shouldn't be doing, like having a conversation and stuff like that. So, you know, it gets me ready, it gets me mentally prepared, and, you know, it gives you the strength to go through that last rep, you know, or to, you know, ignore the pain when it's when your body's screaming, stop, stop, stop. So, if, before I do back, I watch a motivational Ronnie Coleman back video or whatever, or Dorian Yates doing back, or before I do shoulders, like today, uh, I'm a big fan of Phil Heath, obviously, Mr. Olympia. Um, and, you know, like, my, my philosophy is this, you know, you want to make it, Look at those who made it. Just, just study them, whether you like them or not. You know, they don't have to be your favorite, but if they made it, it's for a reason, you know. I don't care if it's genetics, I don't care if it's whatever. It takes hard work to become a champion. And if you study champions and you read the biographies and you see where they came from, you learn from their mistakes, you know, all these experiences piled up on top of your shoulders, it's going to give you that extra boost, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's better to it's, it's good to learn from your own mistakes you know like i have but it's also better to accumulate the mistakes of those that came before you right just add up all the experiences copy and paste that into your shoulders and just go on and surpass them you know put your pride down turn off your ego a little bit and um learn from others so if somebody's a champion whether you like them or not whether you were rooting for them or not um study them why they became champions you know and you know so I look at both sides of the story. I look at the winners and the losers. I look at everything and I try to filter out, you know, the components that I need. I try to draw strength from everybody because I, I, I feel like, you know, we all in this together. You know, we all live on the same planet. We all need each other from the homeless guy on the street to the wealthiest guy in the castle. You know, you, 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 know, you could learn A and B from, from everybody, you know? Every piece in the puzzle counts. But anyway, um, it's not a philosophy video. It's, it's about my shoulder workout. Of course, I have my sweater on and, you know, and my, because now I work out with my hoodie, uh, my red hoodie, and my sweats. I like covering my body when I work out, you know. It motivates me because my goal is to be able to be so big that I actually outgrow my sweater. So it gives me that, that look like I'm actually smaller and I have to gain mass in like a few, in like 30 minutes. Anyway, uh, this is a quick rundown on my shoulder workout. I kind of copied a lot of stuff from Phil Heath and incorporated some of my own, like I always do. I did, uh, I started off with warm up. I picked up 15 pound dumbbells and I just started doing the basics, you know, front raises, side laterals, bent over, laterals, um, on the presses, you know, just, you know, like maybe two, three minutes just to get the blood going in my shoulders. Right after that, I. I started with standing military press on the machine, always on the machine when I do heavy weights because I'm trying not to hurt my back more than it already is. So I did three sets of that, moderately lightweight. Uh, I did what, a 35 on each side. Um, I, I put a 25 and a 10 because on my last set I was like doing drop sets. I want to be able to take some of the weight down. So I put a 25 and a 10 on this side and I did standing military press coming really low. You know, and just feeling the contraction in my shoulders. You know, it's really important that you focus on contracting the muscle you're actually working out. One of the mistakes that I made a lot in the past was getting support from this from the secondary muscles. You know, like doing shoulder presses in the past, I used to use my triceps a lot more than my shoulders. But you can't do that because your triceps and your shoulders are gonna, you know, split the load in half. So you won't really get full shoulder development. But anyway, I just focused on getting my shoulders to you know go up and not really pushing the weight with my triceps you know just let it come down and contract your shoulders as you go up i did three sets of that i love to the shoulder workout because i actually tried a new approach where i minimize my rest periods from 30 seconds to 60 seconds most not more than a minute that i 
heavy weights like that, I usually do, um, well, it's not really heavy, but I usually do 60 seconds rest. So I did three sets, 60 seconds rest in between each. On the last set, I did a drop set, right? Then after that, I went to side laterals. 30 seconds rest in between three sets of 10 to 12 reps using 25 pound dumbbells. You know, I'm trying to focus on light weight and doing the form, you know, having a rhythm and doing the motions right. Uh, after that, I did, um, what the hell did I do after that? After the side laterals, I did, God. I did front, front um, barbell raises. Not really barbell, you know those bent bars that we use for preacher curls? Yeah, I used one of those and I did front raises with those. It really gave me a good burn. I got that from Phil Heath. Three sets, 10 to 12 reps, 30 seconds breaks in, you know, in between. It was really intense, you know. Drink a lot of water, kept my breaks to a minimum. After that, I did um, behind the neck, um, seated military presses, using the machine, of course, for safety. You know, um, did three sets of that, one second breaks, uh, 60 second breaks in between. Uh, lightweight, I think I did 35 on each side, you know. Um, actually, I did six to eight reps of that, three sets, six to eight reps, because my shoulders were really tired by then. And the last, after that, I did five sets of, um, yeah, five sets of really lightweight. I only had a, I had a, I had a, I had 15 pounds on each side, I believe, 15 pounds on each side, and I just did five sets of 10 reps, 10 to 12 reps, really like, just to, you know, develop good form of my behind the neck, you know, shoulder presses, because it's an exercise that if you don't focus on and do proper form, you'll actually injure yourself. So I just did five sets of that just to get my shoulders and my rotator cuffs used to that exercise. And after that, I went back to, um, I started doing traps. Shoulders were done, started doing traps. I do my real dust on my back, so on my back day, so I didn't do real dust today. I did traps, I did 85 pound dumbbells. Like I said, I'm, I'm doing light weights now. I don't do heavy anymore. Light weights, I did 20, 20 reps, three sets of 20 reps, 85 pounds, you know, dumbbells, did shrugs. And after that, I did barbell, shrugs, three sets. I just put two 45s on each side. It's the machine, so it's not really heavy. Three sets of um, 10 to 12 reps. And by that time I was I was normally done. It was time to go home, but you know it's kind of hard to leave the gym when you're so pumped and you're ready to go, you know. But I I got stubborn. I stayed and did another three sets of the bent ball, the you know front raises, which I wasn't supposed to, but I, I just wanted to do it. And after that I went home. You know that was it. Drank my creatine and ate a good meal. Took my protein shake. You know, that's so that's two meals. That's about it. That was about it for my shoulder workout.